Okay, this is going to be a video about acrylic pouring, and I'm sure most of you have seen videos about it. Um, what I've done is I've already mixed my colors, so um, I use instead of like a free flow paint because you can get those. You can get paint that's already um, thinned up enough so you can use it. Um, these are like a couple. This is some deco art. I also use apple barrel. Let's see, apple barrel. Whatever's on sale, that's what I grab. Now, if you're using like the standard or regular consistency of um, acrylic paint, then you'll need to thin it out. So, what I did was for these, they're regular acrylic paint. Um, I used one part water, two parts paint first, mix those together. And then I used um, a medium that helps it to flow better. So the mediums you could use are Liquitex, professional pouring medium. Um, some people have used Mod Podge. And then the big one that everybody's into, or it seems like a lot of people are into, is Floetrol. So I've mixed with the medium two parts, well actually 50-50. So after I mix the two to one water, so it's two paint, two, and then one part water. And then after that's mixed together, then one on one with the pouring medium. Now, that's easy for me to say. <laughs> now, what I want to do is be able to get some cells or the little circles. Um, I'll show you a picture that I'm talking about. You can come out with, it comes out different ways depending on how much medium you use, how much um, paint you use. This is one that I got a lot of cells out of. This is one that I painted, same technique, but as you can see, it's not many cells. So you don't really have to have cells for it to be a really nice piece. I really like this piece. It's one of my favorites. And then this is the last piece. This is the last piece I'm going to show you. This reminds me of like a butterfly. But you can see. Get different um, results. Enough for that. So, what I'm going to do is um, some things that are used to bring out the cells as um, this coconut milk dimethicone 100%. So, what I'm going to do is do that's three squirts, three squirts, okay, it's more like four. And some people also use. Rain-X, believe it or not, but I'm not going to use that. What I am going to try is I'm going to use some bubbles. So these are just like cheapy bubbles. I say cheapy because it was a pack of like 15, I guess, for a kid's party. If you want to have a kid's party. And I'm just going to put, because I this is experimenting, so I don't know what's going to happen. So let's put a little bit in each one. And then we're going to... Mix everything together slowly because you don't want to make it bubble up. Just make sure it's rinsed or mixed, rinsed, mixed slowly. <laughs> Here we go. So for this picture, the very first one I showed you with all of the cells, that was done doing a dirty pour, which if you don't know what that means, it's 
where you have a cup and you pour in a color of paint then you put on another color on top and then another couple on top another color on top of that paint and then there's a swiping technique which is what I'm going to use today so I'm just going to make sure it's mixed in and like I said I've never used bubbles before or dishwashing liquid or any kind of soap so this is going to be a surprise to me hopefully it'll it'll have a nice effect I think I've mixed everything okay so we're all mixed start to pour. So I think I'm going to start with the lightest color. And I like negative space so we're just going to just pour Forgive me or pardon me, I get tongue tied. This is one of my first videos, so I was a little nervous and excited at the same time. <laughs> For the black, this one I used the other day, and I usually seal it up in one of these containers here. I usually seal it up in this, but I forgot. I did have a saran wrap that cling tight, clingy saran wrap, so it didn't dry out. Thank goodness. And I'm just gonna put this. Here. And I'm going to go and flip, fill in some colors. Spots with that color. I seem to have a lot of orange, so and blue That's good enough. Now let's go ahead and add the pink in I want to add more of the, the coconut milk add a couple more one, two, three, four, five drops Slowly mix. Okay. Let's break up some of this orange. We're experimenting, so a lot of things could happen. Hopefully, nice things. <laughs> okay, so got the pink in there. Now, there's a couple of ways you can swipe. I have several different tools. You can swipe using this. If you want like a broad swipe, but each time you swipe, make sure you clean off your tool before you go back and swipe again, unless you don't mind the colors mixing. Then I have a little spatula. I have 
this, which is like a pastry, you know, something you use in a restaurant supply. I got this. You can just swipe lightly with that. You use cardboard. <laughs> You can also use paper towel. So let's start with the paper towel just to see how that looks. And we're just going to slide across lightly. Not bad. I think I'm going to use my little, um, going to lose, use my, where is it, my little guy. Yeah, I want to have more control, so I'm going to use that, my little guy. Yeah, just swiping across. I really don't like wasting paint. Swipe across. And what I'm going to do, because I still have some bare spots, I think I like to put my black in here, maybe along there, and along here. I like the way the blue looks here. Color blue. Pink. Orange. A lot of yellow left.
make sure the black goes all the way through. My cup's getting my way here. I kind of like it. So remember, some of this, some of the cells that are stuck coming out, are made out of a combination of the pour using the coconut milk, and then little bubbles. So I use the bubbles straight out of the little bottle. Even that color right there, even that looks pretty. And there we go. Just gonna do just gonna pull some more black. Got the color going all the way across. And there we go. There you have it. I like the way that turned out. Just going to go around the edges. any of them run off on the edges here. Okay, so I'm going to use a torch to get rid of the, some of the air bubbles. Just going to go real quick. Get rid of the air bubbles. Yeah, real quick because you don't want to scorch anything or draw anything out more than the rest of the picture. I think I've gotten most of the bubbles.
and we're done. Sorry for the noise. Let's get a little closer look here. Yeah, a lot, lot of little interesting spots. I like it. I guess the bubbles work just as well as the coconut oil.